Alright, people, it's just come to my attention that, uh, I tend to be, uh, straying away from the path every now and again, and I'm missing out on some very important items that are necessary to the story. So, before we eventually come back and try and take on the Guardian Ape, we are actually gonna head back to Sempo Temple, because we actually need to go there. So, go there, go to the main hall. It's good that I've been exploring all of these places already, so I can just go straight there. So glad I went ahead and just started exploring all these places first. Alright, the guy is no longer here. Inspect! Um, where am I going? Three monkeys. One of the panels is empty. Elusive Hall Bell, a five-pronged bell made of aged bronze, can be used repeatedly when rung monkeys and wolves alike are returned to their initial states. However, a monkey caught in the folding screen will not escape whether the bell is rung or not. Okay. Nice try, monkey! Oh, you gonna hide all the way up there.
All right, where's this last monkey at? Monkey! Folding screen monkeys! Gotcha! <laughs> Please forgive them. They only sought to keep me hidden. However, it seems it was not meant to be. Close your eyes. Let us meet at the inner sanctum. Ooh, new area. Memory! Screen monkeys! The battle memory of an extraordinary foe lingering in the mind of the wolf. Commune with the sculptor's idol and confront memories of battle to permanently increase attack power. The folding screen monkeys guarded the Hall of Illusions and befriended the divine child of rejuvenation. Acquired skills. Pup puppeteer ninjutsu? Ninjutsu technique that manipulates the victim like a puppet caused spirit emblems to use, activated after a backstab death blow. This technique temporarily forces one who should have fled this realm to remain. A puppet moves on behalf of its master, but its strings are destined to snap. Yo, we've learned some puppet master jutsus! Where's Kankuro? Kankuro! Also, let's check around in this water. Is there a carp? I don't think there's a carp in here. But this area looks like a carp could be in here. Alright, let's discover this location. Inner Sanctum! Rest. And then, increase our power! Remnant Screen Monkeys. The Halls of Illusion lie on the threshold betwixt life and death. Departed souls of the Divine Children drift and sway, taking shelter in the Monkeys of the Temple. Such is why the Divine Child of Rejuvenation speaks of them as friends. Oh, have I been killing her friends all this time? I'm sorry. But they wanted to kill me, so... Oh, well. Hey there, kid. Why do you seek this place? I seek the mortal blade. Do you know of the blade that cannot be drawn? Yes. It is so called, for not one who has drawn it has ever survived. Yet you still wish to attempt this. I do. I do. I see. Very well. If you are prepared. You may gaze upon the blade. <laughs> and 
and the blade just killed me. Why is it, I wonder? Are they not loath to die? Snap! Mortal Blade! An Odachi capable of slaying the undying. Its crimson blade will take the life of any who dares draw it. Without the power of resurrection, one could not hope to wield this weapon, which allows one to defeat even infested beings. Long concealed within Senpo Temple, the blade is inscribed with its true name, Gracious Gift of Tears. Yay! Mortal Blade! We'll come back and talk again sometime later, kid. Alright, let me see. Combat Art. Mortal Draw. Ooh! New move! A combat art using the Mortal Blade costs spirit emblems to use. With the flash of a sword, the blade slashes through enemies, leaving a reddish-black noxious mist. The seeping mist extends the range of the blade. A technique using the blade that cannot be drawn is a feat only the oath bound of the divine heir could achieve. Sweet. And I love it that we got the sword on our back. It is so cool. Now we can go back and forth and see the little princess more. Snap, I can kill these dudes! And they give me 165 experience. That's a good old chunk of experience right there. Well, now that we got the blade, we can go back and see about talking to Kudo. First, we rest.
Then we travel to Kudo's room. So far, so good, I'm gonna admit. We got the mortal blade, we can kill- We can kill things that cannot die. Do you know what that means? I smell a farming run! These dudes drop 165 experience. Farming! Oh, the farming. Give me all the dilute and all of the stuffs cause I won't sit. Kudo! I got something! Where you at, boy? Wolf, that sword on your back, is it? It is the mortal blade. The sword that can kill those who cannot die. Yes, it was given to me by the divine child of the rejuvenating waters at Sempo Temple. The Divine Child of the Rejuvenating Waters? The monks at Sempo Temple abandoned the ways of their faith in pursuit of immortality. The result is those who have false dragon's heritage, known as the Divine Children of the Rejuvenating Waters. A false dragon's heritage. I never would have thought. Wait, Divine Children? Yes, many were created, but only one survived. Further proof of the corruption this power brings to man, the ties of immortality must be severed. Yes, my lord. I see you've gathered some of the ingredients needed to create the aroma of the fountainhead. Keep up the good work, Wolf. Sweet! You're leaving. Wolf, I'm counting on you. My lord. Alright, we're doing good so far. This is actually going to be the shortest video I do for this entire series. Because the dev stream for Warframe is going to be starting at 2 o'clock. And if I continue any further, then I'm going to miss it. So we're going to continue this more later. As we continue to play Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. I know, only less than 20 minutes in a video? What sort of sorcery is this? Well... I also want to kind of farm those guys, see if I can kill things that cannot die, and see if I can get myself some more prayer beads. Look, I only need... I only need one more to increase my health again. And then I want to get some more experience so I can get to at least six skill points to get the, the an ultimate art of some... Wait a minute. Right, I need to get this first before I can get the ultimate art. Well, oh well. Back to square one, but it's fine. Gonna work on farming just a little bit, and then we'll continue this the next time as we continue to play Sekiro. So I hope y'all enjoy. Can't wait to see you all in the next video. So have a fantastic day, and once again, as always, later, peoples!